Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here, and this uh, unit is on uh, adding fractional parts of 10 and 100. So we're going to have denominators of 10 and 100 in this lesson. So our common core is we're going to compare fractions and review decimal notation for fractions. And so our question uh, becomes, uh, how can we add fractions when the denominators are 10 and 100? Okay, so here we go. Let's try one. The fourth grade classes uh, are painting uh, designs on tile squares to make a mural. Mr. Burns' class painted three-tenths of a mural. Mrs. Fuller's class painted twenty-one hundredths of a mural. So what part of the mural is painted? Okay. All right, you guys. So we know how to add fractions when the parts are the same size, when we have common denominators. So we can use equivalent fractions, and that's what we're going to do here, to add the fractions um, uh, with parts that are not the same size. See, this one is in terms of tenths. So three-tenths is not the same as in terms of one-hundredths right there. What do you think is bigger, you guys? Is one tenth or one one hundredth? Well, one tenth is bigger. All right, we'll talk about that in just a second. Okay, so here we're going to find, uh, we're going to add uh, how much uh, Mr. Burns's class did and Mrs. Uh, Fuller's class did. So we're going to add three tenths plus twenty one hundredths. All right, so um, uh, we're going to write both three tenths and twenty one hundredths as a pair of fractions that have a common denominator. So so look at the uh, the ten and one hundred. Okay, so. Uh, think that 100 is a multiple of 10. So what I can do is use 100 as a common denominator by changing this fraction right here. Instead of having over 10, I can change it to something over 100. So do you remember what we do? So 3 tenths uh, is the same as, you know, 10 times what equals 100? Well, 10 times 10 equals 100. So I can put 100 in both these positions right here. So when I do, uh, I'm sorry, not 100, 10 in both these positions, because 10 over 10, I'm just multiplying it by 1. So it won't change the values, but on top it's going to be 3 times 10, or 30. And then on, bop, on the bottom, it'll be 10 times 10, or 100 right there. All right, so we're going to get um, 30 over 100, or 30 hundredths. 30 hundredths is going to be represented as 3 tenths right there. 3 tenths, we just multiplied it by 1 right there. So 3 tenths is the same as 30 hundredths. Okay, so now... Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add by rewriting uh, 3 tenths plus 21 hundredths using fractions that have common denominators. So now I'm going to replace this 3 tenths with 30 hundredths right here, okay? So here we go, um, 31 hundredths plus 21 one hundredths. So here's my 3 tenths I replaced with 30 hundredths. And now we have common denominators of hundredths. So we can go ahead and add the numerators here, 30 plus 21 is 51. Okay, so um, so we have 51 hundredths of their mural has been painted. All right, all right. So when adding tenths and hundredths, can you always use a uh, hundred as a common denominator? And so explain. Well, yes, we can. Since 100 is a multiplier, uh, is a multiple of. Whoops, you can, I got to blend some words together. I got to unblend them right here is a multiple of both 10 and 100, you can always use 100 as a common denominator when adding tenths and one hundredths. So if I see tenths and one hundredths, my common denominator becomes 100. Okay, so let's try this with this one. Four one hundredths plus uh, one tenth. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, change that one tenth uh, to hundredths, you guys. So same thing, one tenth becomes I'm going to change 10 times what equals 100. Again, I'm going to multiply this by 1, but my 1 is going to be 10 over 10 right here. That way it gets me in a 100 in the denominator, and then 1 times 10 in the numerator becomes 10 in the numerator. Okay, so, so 1 tenth is the same as 10 one hundredths right there. Look, I just multiplied it by 1 right there. So one tenth is the same as uh, ten one hundredths right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rewrite this. Um, uh, so I exchanged um, one tenth as ten one hundredths right here, and then <clears throat> I don't know why, but the textbook I'm following um, they made this blank. It's just this one right here. It's four hundredths right here. So four hundredths plus ten hundredths is gonna give me fourteen hundredths right there. Okay. All right. So easy enough, huh, you guys? All right, so let's try this, you guys. So we're going to add some decimals. Jasmine lives uh, 0.5 miles from the store. Remember, 0.5, this ends in the tenths spot. So this is the same as 5 tenths. 5 tenths of a mile to, from the store. 
The store is 0.25, but this is this 5 this time ends in the hundredths, so this is read as 25 hundredths. The store is 25 hundredths mile from her grandmother's house. Jasmine is going to walk to the store, and then she's going to walk to her grandmother's house. So how far did she walk? Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to, we're going to add uh, 5 tenths right here plus 25 hundredths right here. Okay? So when we add that, you guys, we're going to um, write them as a sum of fractions. So I'm going to exchange this uh, 0 0.5 as 5 tenths and exchange this 0 0.25 as 25 hundredths because this 5 right here ends in the hundredths spot. Okay, so so think uh, five, uh, 0 0.5 is 5 tenths and 0 0.25 is 25 hundredths. So I'm going to represent those as uh, I'm going to put here 5 tenths and over here is going to be 25 hundredths right there. Okay, all right, so there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and add, uh, we're going to exchange uh, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 as 5 tenths plus 25 hundredths. Now this looks just like the problems we've been doing. I'm going to change this uh, denominator to 100, so I'm going to multiply that by, by 10 over 10. Okay, so write 5 tenths and 25 hundredths as the sum of fractions with common denominators. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to exchange 5 tenths. I'm going to go uh, 10 times what gives me 100. Again, it's going to be times 10 over 10. That way it's multiplied by 1. So 5 times 10 is going to be 50 right there. So I'm going to exchange. Well, let me put that there first, you guys. Now I'm going to exchange 5 tenths with 50 one hundredths right there. Okay, so now we're going to write 50 one hundredths plus 25 one hundredths. We're going to go ahead and add those together. And now we have a common denominator of 100, so I'm going to put 100 right here and then add the numerators. 50 plus 25 is, gives me 75 hundredths. All right? All right, so uh, recall 75 hundredths uh, represented uh, as a decimal right here, you guys, is uh, 0 0.75. Remember, it ends in the hundredth spot. So since it started with a decimal, I'm going to go ahead and end this answer with a decimal. So, so Jasmine's going to walk. This, this is red, 75 hundredths, but I'm going to represent it as a decimal right here. Jasmine walks uh, 75 hundredths of a mile, or 0.75, okay? But since it started with a decimal answer, we're going to go ahead and end it with a decimal answer. So explain why you can think of 25 cents as either one quarter dollar or 25 hundredths of a dollar. Well, there's... Okay, let's do the one quarter of a dollar and then 25 hundredths of a dollar. Uh, uh, 25 cents is, or 25 hundredths of a dollar is 25 cents or 25 pennies. And since there's 100 pennies in a dollar, then 25 pennies is the same as 25 hundredths of a dollar. Also, you can think of this, you guys. 25 pennies is the same as one quarter. And since there's four quarters in a dollar, one quarter ends up being uh, one fourth of a dollar. So, so think of this as being um, uh, a quarter, you guys. So it's one fourth, and actually, uh, one fourth is the same as a quarter right there. So it's a quarter of a dollar right there. Okay. All right. So let's try to find this. This one's pretty easy. I'm not going to change these ones to fractions. I'm just going to add, you guys. Here's 25 cents plus 40 cents. Well, how much can you do, you guys? Just to, just pause this for a second and see what's 25 cents plus 40 cents. How much cents do you have, okay? We don't need to change them to fractions. We can just go ahead and add. 25 cents plus 40 cents is, is 65 cents, okay? Hope this lesson helps, you guys. Take care.